Chargers Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, it's definitely a very sunny and hot day across the Concho Valley. Those high temperatures in the upper 90s for us here. As far as our weather headlines, we're going to have calm and clear conditions for tonight. And then we're going to continue to see that hot and dry spell for the next few days. Highs remaining in the upper 90s to 100s. Our overnight lows in the 60s. And so we're just going to continue to see that hot and dry spell continue as we head into the weekend there. But looking at the past 24 hours, last night got down to 55 degrees. Those temperatures officially hitting at about 97, 98 for us here in San Angelo at Mathis Field, though. Uh, but looking at our current conditions, we're sitting at 97 right now. Those winds out of the southeast at 11 miles an hour. As we can look at the temps across the area, 93 in Sonora, 93 in Junction, 95 in Sterling City. So definitely feeling a little bit much like summer for us here across west central Texas. Those wind speeds out of the southeast at around 12 miles an hour. A little bit more calmer in our southern areas and around Sutton County. And that's good news because they are dealing with a wildfire uh, that is in Sutton County. That last check, this is from the Texas A&M Forest Service. That wildfire has grown to 2,000 acres, and only 30% of it is contained. That's in northeastern portions of Sutton County. So I bet you some of it actually is stretching into portions of Crockett County. And so as they're still trying to battle that fire there, still continuing to see those dry conditions. But the good news, those winds are fairly calm. Here's a look at your drought monitor. We're seeing those moderate drought conditions in place for Crockett County and Sutton County. And then abnormally dry conditions in a place for northern Tom Green County, stretching into Coke County and Sterling and Runnels County. So definitely feeling the effects of that lack of rain that we have not received for the past several days. Here's a look at that radar across the state of Texas, mostly quiet and clear all across the state. Seeing a few storms and showers pop up in far west Texas. As we go into looking at the situation, we have that upper level high pressure system. That's what's keeping those sunny and hot conditions. That's going to be camping out over the area for the next few days into the weekend, though. Uh, but as we head into our uh, dew point, we're seeing some really low dew points, therefore indicating that we're dealing with some very dry weather. So you might want to take precautions in terms of that fire weather hazard from west of San Angelo so because we are seeing extremely dry conditions from the Midland Odessa area stretching all the way into the western portions of the Concho Valley there. As we look at those dew points expecting those to rise as we head into those overnight hours there. Uh, but looking at our next seven days expect those temperatures to remain in the 90s just uh, continuing to see those very hot conditions uh, in place for us all across the area with those temperatures ranging from about 97, 98. Well I wouldn't be surprised if we actually hit the 100 degree mark going into the start of next week but just still continuing to see those very sunny and uh, very calm conditions across the Concho Valley. And that's, this is the case not just for us, across the state of Texas, too. They're dealing with just sunny skies and very hot conditions in place for the next several days there. But tonight, expect those overnight lows to drop down into the mid to low 60s. Calm skies, clear skies with those winds remaining calm. Tomorrow, the same situation. Hot, sunny, high temperatures in the upper 90s. Those winds out of the southeast at 9 miles an hour. For the next seven days, expect those temperatures to remain rather hot, just uh, continuing to see that sunshine. Definitely perfect to be out and about near a pool to go swimming for the weekend because we are dealing with those sunny and hot conditions that are going to be lasting for much of next week. We could start to top out in the hundreds going into the start of next week. Overnight lows in the mid to low 60s and then a little bit of cloud cover for the end of next week, but other than that, just still continuing to see some fairly calm and hot conditions for us here. And the winning with the weather prize, the winner of the $125 gift certificate to Henry's and $125 gift certificate to Miss Hattie's is Deborah Romero. Of course, you are the winner of that. Someone from the station will be in contact with you to get that prize to you. So definitely, uh, that's the, our winner of the winning with the weather sweepstakes. We'll be right back.